Hello, I'm Harish, and in this channel, we talk about building anything with our coding. We've covered about software a lot on this uh, channel, where you can build websites or web applications using Google Sheets, Airtable, and software as a platform, where Google Sheets on Airtable act as your backend, and software is your front end, which uses the data from your Sheets or Airtable and creates an application out of it. Software launched Software AI recently which lets you build entire application without writing a single line of code and using the power of AI and a simple prompt. Let's check out a couple of examples of what you can build using software AI. Let's go. All right, today what I have for you is a couple of examples of what type of applications you can build using software AI. Software AI if you Google or you can use the link in the description below to access the tool, gives you something like this, which lets you add a prompt and then generate the application directly. You don't even have to have an account to generate the application or do the demo of the application, but you need, need uh, an account to customize the application or the experience post generation, right? So here is a prompt, uh, which lets you create an internal tool, right? Let's, for the first example, we'll use the prompt that is provided for the tool itself. The tool uh, lets you create internal tools on client portals or a directory type of website or a membership platform. For the first example, we'll use the same internal tool example. The prompt is a tool dedicated to sharing important com company news, announcements, and updates. Let's click on preview your app. This should actually generate the application for you and let's see what happens uh, after generation. Like you can see, you can see a blurred out preview. On the right, you can customize uh, the application. By default, it uses the prompt that you gave and also creates a name for the application, which is called Newswave in this case. And then you can customize the theme. You can make it uh, retro. Let me just quickly zoom in a bit. You can make the theme retro or playful, modern, or creative, or professional. Since this is a internal company tool, let's uh, make it professional and let's use a tint of blue here. And like you can see, the Preview already changes the colors um, and I change the color. So I'm going to do generate your app from here or you can also customize the prompt if you want to change the prompt a little or add more information to the prompt. Let's click generate your app and see what happens. It should ideally create the app after this. Once this is done, what you will see is basically a way to customize the app along with also seeing the preview of the actual app that we generated. Like you can see, it says our app is ready for preview and let's see it in action. Once I click save it in action, like you can see, it creates or showcases to us what it is creating. Obviously, all of this is customizable. I'll show you how to customize it. But you will need an account for customizing. So there is a landing page, a simple landing page, nothing more than that. There is a read more button to view the news, obviously, which takes the user to the login page. You can also enable Google creating uh, a login to view all the information because there's an internal tool, right? So if you see, there is manager and individual contributors. The roles are automatically created by software for you. Let's see what the manager sees on the on the tool and what are the options that are available for the manager and then we'll see what are the options that are available for the individual. Once you click on manager, it loads the experience of the manager from the app. By the way, this app is fully ready for you to click and use it, customize and actually deploy it to a website. As you can see, there is the header section where it says a brief information about what this is. And then there is news. News is filled up with all the news articles that you can add. You can also add new news record, which is title, category, content, who's the author and published date. Like you can see, everything is ready. You can just click and add it, or you can also edit whatever is there. If I click on edit, it will show up all the details of that particular record. And you can edit and update. This is a manager experience, right? From here, you can also add new news directly from the top bar, or you can view on the news. And if you see, there is my profile and sign on. The profile page is also created because this is a dummy account. You can see this is what the manager will see if they want to customize their account. And then let's actually go back to, uh, let's actually sign out and see the individual experience. Now, if I go to read more, back again at the demo that we saw. And then now if I click read more, it says the individual contributor. This is actually the employee that is viewing the news or the interval announcement. And this is what an employee sees. They can click on each news item and it will open up on the right side and you can see all the information that is part of that news article on the right side. That is an entirely fully functional app, right? Now, you will not trust me when I say this, 
but let's click on customize app and see if this is a really functional app. If when you click customize app, you will need an account for in software, which is free. You can get an account for free. You can also deploy an app for free with certain limitations, of course. But if you like this tool and if you want more features, you can obviously upgrade your account. But like you can see, this is what uh, you see as the builder of this tool. So this section, where is, there is a lock, only shows up for locked in users. Same with the new section, which is why the landing page only shows the first section. If you want to add more sections, you can always click on add block and add any of these pre-built sections that are available from the right side. All these are pre-built sections, you can always click on any of them and add them. Some of them are premium. If you want to upgrade or use those sections, you have to pay. Right? Then there is static elements that you can add. Like the header, the section that you have, you can also add a navigation item or a hero section, customize the hero section a little, little bit based on these pieces of content that are available for you as blocks in software. That is a quick example of what you can build uh, without using any uh, code or spending time on designing an entire application for an interval tool. On the left, if you click on settings, these are all the options that are available for you as part of uh, the application itself. You can customize the name from here, you can customize domain, software gives you a subdomain for free. You can also link an actual domain, your own domain for free for one website or an app that you build using software. Then you can also customize the theme. If you don't like the color words that are given by the by the generator itself, you can always customize from here or on the left. You can also add new pages. You can see on the left, there are some pages that are visible for everybody like sign in, receive password forgot password and all of that, but there are also some pages which is form. Form is the one where you add new new news articles. Those are available only for admins, right? So there is a lock in one on each of those items, right? So form is visible only to the manager. Use is visible to people who log in. User profile is also available for locked in users, including the manager. That's a full-fledged application. Now you can ask me, what, where is the data of this application stored? For that, I will quickly show you how to how to edit that. Now, let's go back to the home page for just a second. Now, on the home page, there was a new section that is only visible to the users, right? So if you click on this section, the template data is already created for you. All you have to do is click on copy template data. Then it'll ask you where you want the data to be stored. Is it editable or Google Sheets? If you have a Google Sheet type out, you can link it here. Or if you want to add it to Airtable, you can always add another data source. My account is already linked. So I'm going to click here, it will create a new sheet for me inside Google Sheet so that the data is fetched automatically from there. Now the data is ready and the Google Sheet is also copied. So it will take me back to uh, the application itself, but I can now go to the Google Sheet right from here. So if you click on the same news section, see Google Sheets is created. If you go to your Google Sheets or Google Drive, you can actually view the sheet. If you click on that icon from there, you can open up the Google Sheet and see what the data is. This is the data. By default, the data will always clear this. If you see the actual Google Sheet, you have application users as a sheet and then news as a separate sheet inside the Google Sheet itself, which is where all the data of your application is directly stored. Now, if I go back to my previous tab, this is the application that was generated for us by the AI. Now, let's look at another example of another different tool, like, right? Now I'm going to create a client portal. This is a, the example that we're going to use for the client portal is assume you are a student and you are running a college fest at your college or a hackathon or some form of event where there are multiple events in the fest. And let's see what uh, software generates for you as an application. This uh, you can use directly for your college event to, to let anybody who wants to participate in the event sign up directly onto, onto the event that they prefer or just the fest entirely. Let's see what uh, software generates. So but the prong that I gave is a college fest website with multiple events and organizers can list or delete events individually along with accepting registrations for each of these events individually and approve the registrations so that you have a choice of seeing who can come uh, based on the applications that you receive. Essentially, it means you can add multiple form uh, details that you want to capture from the registrants. And based on the responses, you can actually approve or reject uh, participants. Let's see what software builds for us based on this prompt. Here, the client is the participant or the individual from other college or your own college who wants to participate. And the manager in this case will be the organizer, which is you if you're creating this for your college event. Like you can see, software gave event is as the name and the prompt is already 
available. And then I'm going to say generate app. I'm okay with uh, these themes or let's just change to retro and uh, yellow and then generate our app. Let's see what happens. Once the app is generated, you should be able to save, do the same things. View the uh, app as a manager or the individual, which is the participant in this case. And then customize accordingly. You have seen customization. I didn't get to customizations in other videos, but we'll keep this video to a simple one where you can see how to generate full-fledged web applications that run on web, tablet, or mobile without having to write a single line of code. Ideally, this usually takes over three to four weeks if you were to build this entire experience by yourself using code, which is why this is our full tool. Let's see what it built. Once I go click on see it in action, it should wrote the landing page for me, right? The landing page is here. You can customize the images that you've shown me before. When I say join the festive day, it should take me to the login page. Like there is manager and client users. Let's see manager, what can manager do? Manager should be able to edit all the events or update the event or add new events, right? Yep, so you can see there are events and registration system, which means you can add or delete or edit or update events. And also same with registrations. The view for the events is like this. There is a name description and who's the organizer. If you have multiple organizers, like multiple branches or clubs in your college, you can do so. If I click on edit, I can edit that individual event details itself, the start date, end date. It knows what an event is. So it adds start date, end date by default and the description, of course, and the location. And I can add a new event with the same information. I let's Let me show you quickly registrations. If I go to registrations, I can see all the registrations I've received for each of these events. Let's see what, what software generated for us. Yep, so registration includes the details of the user flow register. If I click on edit, it should show me the details of that individual and including the event name. So this person has registered for a music festival. Right? I can update the information. I can add new registrants. I can change the status also. I'm not sure if you noticed, there is a status column at the end. You can change the status code approved or rejected at the end. So by default, it is pending, which means you register. Once the user register, it shows pending. You can update accordingly. That's how our full software AI is. And you should definitely try it out. If you want more features beyond the free plan, you can always update uh, what the free plan itself is enough for you to go launch your own web application that runs on any platform. Uh, as you can see on the top, there is the desktop view or the tablet view or in the mobile view. The web website is responsive. Whatever it generates is responsive by default. So we don't have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, that's a quick, short, sweet demo of software AI and what AI is capable of and how you can leverage software AI to build uh, applications in a short amount of time like this video, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and also let me know what you would create using software AI in the comment section below. See you in the next one.